If you're not awake now, hopefully that intro woke you up. Good evening, Langoff Academy members, and welcome back to another episode of a Swing Analysis series. And this one, we're going to do Lexi Thompson, the great Lexi Thompson. Lexi has a very unique swing motion. She seems to have a stack and tilt motion, and she really compensates for this, specifically from about halfway down her downswing through impact and coming out of the posture, and specifically so with her left side. It would be very interesting to figure out what equipment she used when she started, because I know she was young when she started as a child and if that club was heavy it could have promoted this motion and lucky for her it worked out to be great so sometimes you know even if you have mismanaged clubs you can make it work and it worked out for Lexi and I'm pretty sure it had something to do with the clubs but let's take a look at the initial setup and this is something that I really strive for all students no matter what ability they have so her setup, what we can see, and this is a couple of things I want you to really focus on specifically with the driver, not so much with the irons, but with the driver. You notice how she has her plane line between her club shaft and her spine angle fairly close to 90 degrees. If you look at most high quality players, they're searching for that 90 degrees because it's a lot easier to keep things square or longer and it helps you with less manipulation. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but if you, but if you want to check your setup, have somebody take a look at it or even video record yourself and just look at the back and see if you can get that thing close to 90 degrees if not try and get as close as you can to it obviously range of motion could be an issue but the second thing I want you to look at is on the left screen with her face on is you notice how her center for chest her hands and her club head are all connected into one line now this is something that I'm a huge fan of now obviously you can make any setup work it's just how can that setup help you get into positions over and over again with less manipulation so there's a lot of ways to skin a cat but this way I like just because it's very simple and you can turn around that spine axis. Now on the way back we see Lexi trying to do that one piece takeaway. You can see her triangle still connected to her chest which is great. Arms and hands are going a little bit higher than normal and this is why I have a strong intuition that when she started playing clubs they might have been a little bit too heavy for her so she started to lift and get her left shoulder to tilt a little bit more than what you are looking for. And as we can get to the top of the swing as we get right to the very top here her left arm is a little bit higher as a result of getting that that left lead shoulder to drop down a little bit sooner causing her path to be more up and down but what you can also see is there's a slight bit of stack and tilt going on here if we draw a new spine angle line we can see it's leaning the other way now if you take a look at uh, modern day players and you know i'll bring tiger woods into this because he's got a pretty solid modern day player swing his upper body's leaning the other way and he's trying to form that line straight from his head down to his golf ball leaning the other way which allows him to uncoil and spin around that axis and drive the golf ball up now this is where lexi has developed a different approach now she's still in her spine angle because we can see on this right side look at that screen it's still pretty close to that initial spine angle her head shifted slightly inward and at the top of the swing you can definitely see that club is getting past parallel but don't let that fool you because she's creating a lot of x factor you can see her whole left side here is torquing around you can see the the ripples in the shirt forming that is a lot of stretching going on there there is very little hip rotation when you compare it to the shoulders so we see the shoulder rotation is well past 90 degrees it's probably 120 or so and if we connect both shoulders you can see her hand position is still in line with her right shoulder which is looking pretty solid on this left side we can see that little triangle form in there and then also we can see on the right side her right arm is just sitting on that perfect triangle so everything is linear so far Okay, and what you see is that triangle on the right side, that's connecting her forearms. If you look at any good quality player, once they get to that triangle, they are pulling that triangle as hard as they can in that angle for as long as they can, generating a lot of conservation of angular momentum, which can then release naturally when that right hand straightens out and carries that power through the golf. Because she doesn't have much room, if she pulls on down, you can see what'll happen to that right elbow. It'll bump right into her hips. Because her left arm is a little bit higher than necessary, it's kind of tilted that triangle angle inside of the golf ball so she's gonna have to flatten that out and she flattens it out a couple of ways here number one is she just pulls inside drops that triangle now so now the triangle the new one is here however in order to do that she's clearing her left hip sooner so she is turning her left hip instead of driving and turning and one of the reasons she's doing that is to create room for her elbows now to come on inside and if you look at the left side of the screen here you can hardly see her right elbow there it's connecting and you'll notice that her right elbow now because of that rerouting is now connected very soon to her body on this left screen here you can kind of see it's trapped so she will start to throw her right shoulder around 
So instead of it tilting, she's turning a little bit too much. Now that's going to do a couple things. That's going to get the arms in a position to go ahead and come around her body and be able to catch up to her body. But also what that does is it changes the path. So if I draw this line here, watch what you see what happens as she keeps going around. It's changed her path now. So she's slightly over the top and then she comes through and that momentum of rotating gets that club head to pull a little bit higher than what you would like. So she is has a slight over the top move because she has to turn a lot more with her upper body. But keep in mind that she does have an extreme X factor to make up. Her upper body is trying to play a little bit of a catch up and fire through because of all that extra stretch that she established in the top of her swing. And one other thing you'll notice is because she has turned a lot, her tilting is actually tilting the wrong way. Her left shoulder is much lower at this point than it should be. So in order to straighten that out, the next move with her hips helps her straighten out that tilt. So we know what's going on with the arms here. Drop in the slot. Now she has to create some room, but she's also squatting down a little bit. So she goes from up to down to back up. Now this is what really good ball strikers do that hit it a ton because they're jumping up into the ball. Kind of like when you're getting ready to jump as high as you can. If you try and jump from a standing position without going down first, you can jump. You might get a couple inches clearance room, but if you go down and push back up, you can definitely jump six, seven, eight times as higher because you're using your spring effect. So she is essentially trying to go down, use some spring effect plus her X factor that she has so much torque. And from here to here, that's where she unwinds everything. She jumps up and she continues that turn while she gets her hand speed to increase by pushing her hands out in front to reconnect with that core. So as she strikes the golf ball, look where she winds up on the left side of the screen here, right kind of where she started from. So she's definitely compensating but doing it perfectly over and over again now the left foot because she's trying to clear so much watch her left foot so now she's going down she's going up she has to start clearing her hips and driving up to create the room for her hands and arms to drop in that slot still and by that action watch her left foot come on up and completely move off of its impact position she has to do that to not only release all that power that she has but then to create the room for her hands and arms to kind of go in that gap that she creates. So she does a fantastic job. As she finishes, hips almost stop rotating. She's jumping up, they've released. Now the upper body comes through, releases through, and it is definitely more tilting from that point. So she turns here, and then from here, she tilts under. So look at that tilting action. That tilting action helps her drive that force that she's delivering to the ball from her hips. This extreme tilting where the right shoulder's down, it puts a lot of pressure here. So in order for you to stand up like she is doing and have this tilting, there's a lot of pressure going on here. She has to relieve that pressure. So she tilted already. That tilting action helps her get her hands way out in front of her chest because if she turned, her hands would finish very low and she, she'd pull hook them, she'd do a lot of things. So that tilting action is almost compensating that slightly over the top motion that we see her to reconnect. is gonna pull her upper body to her left side which is why she finishes with that lean on the left side it's a great swing it's repetitive obviously it works because she's one of the best golfers on the planet is it good for everybody else no so is your swing good for everybody else no is my swing good for everybody else no the secret is finding out what works for you which means you have to go see a golf professional if you're watching this to try and emulate what lexi does don't emulate what she does just admire it and learn about cause and effect and go see a golf coach that helps you guys out if you do like this hit the like and subscribe and i will see you next time ferris and greens